Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Exodus chapter 26, where Moses wrote about specific instructions the Lord gave to him to build the tabernacle. Moses wrote, The Lord said, Moses, here are the exact instructions on how I want you to build the tabernacle. I say this again, follow these instructions exactly. Make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine linen and blue, purple, and scarlet material. Each curtain shall be 28 cubits long. Each cubit is around 18 inches. Make loops on the edges, 50 loops in each curtain with matching gold clasps. Make other curtains of goat's hair to go over the top of the first ones. These other curtains shall be 30 cubits long. Make a covering for the tent of ram's skins and porpoise skins. Make the boards propping up the curtains with acacia wood, 20 boards for each side. Overlay certain boards with gold. God continued, make a veil of blue, purple, and scarlet material and fine twisted linen. Hang it on four pillars of wood overlaid with gold. Get a skillful workman to decorate it with cherubim. This veil will be a doorway between the holy place and the holy of holies. Put the Ark of the Covenant and the Mercy Seat in this most holy place. Set the table and the lampstand outside the most holy place and make a screen for the doorway of the tent. The most important verses in this chapter are Exodus 26 verses 22 through 24 which state, And for the sides of the tabernacle westward thou shalt make six boards, and two boards shalt thou make for the corners of the tabernacle in the two sides. And they shall be coupled together beneath, and they shall be coupled together above the head of it unto one ring. Thus shall it be for them both. They shall be for the two corners. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is that He told Moses how to make the tabernacle exactly down to the last detail because He wanted it to be a replica of the true tabernacle in heaven. And God wants us to see that He wanted the most holy place separated from the other areas with a veil. As we know from reading other scriptures, God tore the veil from top to bottom when Jesus was crucified on the cross and rose from the dead, literally and symbolically demolishing the thing that separated man from God. The veil that once separated man from God is now gone. Praise God. Why don't you pass from death to life, perhaps even right now? Repent for your sin and place your faith in Jesus for salvation. Jesus humbled himself and died on a cross as my substitute and your substitute, and God raised Jesus from the dead. We broke God's law, but Jesus paid our fine. He also conquered hell and death, and his return is near. God said that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and if you believe in your heart that he raised Jesus from the dead, you would be saved. Why don't you do that right now? Hey, thanks for watching the Exodus chapter 26 episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it with someone. If you want to join me on this long video journey, feel free to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.